Hey everybody, this is Ashy with another Untold Quick Clip and we're going to talk about downgrading. Now downgrading and untold is how you get to deal with damage. And when we say you, we really mean you. Because in untold, how you deal with damage is completely up to you. Alright, well, actually how you deal with your character's damage. We don't really advocate people hitting one another at the table. That's not good. But come on over, let's see what happens to Toa. So, a few, a few rounds ago, my GM gave Toa some really cool goodies, and it's kind of like a universal rule that once your GM gives you goodies, the next thing he's going to give you is baddies. So, sure enough, we got in a fight. The giant ghoul attacked my, my, attacked my character Toa and did 18 points of damage. Now, that's a lot of damage, and so I've got to figure out a way to handle it. So, uh, the attack was a claw attack, so it was a body attack. And it just so happens that Toa can get rid of or resist eight points of body attack type damage. So I got 18 and I get to subtract my eight, which leaves me with 10 points. And now I've got to figure out how to deal with that 10 points that are left over. Now I could actually consume my swap buffer entirely. I could burn my swap buffer. That's nine points and that would take care of nine of the 10. I'd have one more left to deal with. But I really am thinking I'm going to play adrenaline push and shrug it off probably both next round to really wail on this guy. So I wanna keep my swap buffer intact. So I'm actually gonna do something that most people probably wouldn't do, and I'm gonna come over here to my character deck, and I'm gonna downgrade one or more of these cards. Whatever combination I want to do is up to me. I have to come up with a story to support whatever I do. I could downgrade my body card. I could drop it um, down to body one. That would be four points I'd get rid of there by just spinning this card again. I swap the cards, so I have to tell a story. But I'm gonna do something really crazy because it drives my GM nuts. And I'm going to totally downgrade large. I'm gonna get rid of this power altogether and absorb that 10 points of damage. So I'm gonna tell a story about how Toa is physically shrinking away from this creature. He's almost curling up into a fetal ball. Um, he's physically becoming smaller. He's, he's reducing himself to such a point that he hopes this ghoul won't see him. And if my GM okays that story, if it's good enough to add to the collective story on the table and he thinks it's a good reason, then I can then swap this, this particular power out of my character deck. Now, it did give me some abilities. It gave me a three vitality, and it gave me some modifications to my body attack, defense, and boost. So if I swap this out, I have to then come over and change the stuff on my quick reference card. So my vitality would go down by three. I would have to subtract these out. Uh, my body attack, let me just move this over here. My body attack would have to go up by one. My body defense would go up by one, which could be a tactical thing on my part. It's really not. And then my body boost would have to go down. So you'd have to update that on your sheet, and then you'd be done. That's downgrading. 